Good evening. Welcome to St. Bernard's Missionary Discipleship Family. Today is the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please air five, air, air five a wave or smile to your neighbor. We ask that you please silence your phones. Prepare your heart to celebrate the sacred liturgy. This week's second collection is for Catholic Charities. Every year, the Catholic Charities Sunday Appeal provides an opportunity to highlight the services of Catholic Charities throughout the diocese. This weekend, we ask all Catholic Charities to pray for the ongoing work of Catholic Charities and to support this important ministry through our generous donations. This past year brought different emotions and experiences for everyone, for many being able to provide the basic needs for their families became a struggle. Reduce work hours or losing employment due to COVID, or 
becoming physically ill and having to isolate. Others struggle emotionally trying to cope with the new normal and the isolation created by the pandemic. Whatever the struggle, Catholic Charities continue to work supporting individuals and communities. So today we ask that you please give generously. Our Sunday reading, let us put aside divisions and trust in the Lord who gives and sustains life. Our celebration this evening is by Larry Lee Stanley.
Let us pray. O oh God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Because he is obnoxious to us, he sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put the just one to the test, that we may have proof for his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Disorder 
in every formal practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? It is not from your passions that may war within your members. You covet but do not possess. You kill and envy, but you cannot obtain your fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask, but do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. The word of the Lord.
It's comforting to know that Jesus didn't put them through a test. He just called them. Because he saw in them something that perhaps even the disciples themselves never knew. Who knows why we are called? That's something that we might ask ourselves. And if we go back and review our lives, praise God that we can understand and right from the beginning, before we could even understand how we live, how we grow up, or whatever, Jesus calls us to know about him and to learn from him how to live in this world. This way. So praise God when we are little children. We go in and we learn on our fathers and our Hail Marys and everything else that the church wants us to learn and remember and to practice for the rest of our lives. If we evaluate ourselves, we might take the negative view that we're not worthy to be called or, be to, or to be servants of the Lord. Jesus does not want us to dwell in our negativeness. He wants us to learn to overcome that. And to think like he thinks about us. We are created in his image. And though we do not understand it as children, little by little, if we have guidance from our moms and dads who are believers. And who continue to teach their children why we must love God with all our heart and all our mind and all our soul. Because if we don't, we do not understand who we are completely. Eventually, we come to the conclusion that we are good enough to serve the Lord. In fact, we learn to overestimate ourselves too. In the midst of it all, and to learn from him from what we see and what we hear. You know, being human as they are, only they love to accept the good things, beautiful things that he says, oh, we can deal with that. But don't tell us anything bad. We don't want to hear it. Isn't that true about all of us? Just tell me the good news. Listen to all the garments that exist in the world. I see it. I hear it. I know it's there. I want to hear about it. Turn it on. It's not me anyway. And so when Jesus says to the disciples something, they're certain that the disciples didn't understand. Out of the blue, Jesus says, You know what they're going to do? They're coming for me. A son of man is to be handed over to man and they will kill him. Ah. Oh, get off. Even 
compute the set. Go on. It ain't gonna happen to you. I'm not gonna let it happen. You know what people what did Jesus say to Peter when he said that? Get behind me, say. Because you don't think like God thinks, you think like man thinks. from what I read in, in the scriptures and everything. They're going to come for me and they're going to scourge me. They're going to spit in my face and then they're going to take me and they're going to crucify me on the cross. Oh, I want to hear that. And will you believe that? Are you surprised? That they wanted to talk about somebody else. Hey! I'm God's favorite. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. What makes you so special? What can you do? Okay, each of them have different gifts and everything like that. All of them are good, and all of them serve. The Lord and the good purpose, and they began to brag about who they were and what they could do. Who's the truth? We'll find out. The Lord is going to choose the captain of this team, okay? Still, the Lord says to them, after asking him, Where are you? Arguing about what were you arguing about on the way? What were you talking about? You want to tell me? I know anyway. You know what? If you want to be first, you got to be the last of all and the servant of all. And even then, you're not the greatest. You're only doing what I give you the power to do. You can study all the techniques you want. You can make all the finest sermons you want. You can pray three times a day or maybe four, five, six times a day. Is that going to make you any better? Well, we pray with that confidence and hope. And I am saying to you, do it. Lust, greed, 
sloth like me. When I leave Mass today, I'll probably forget all about it. Jesus finally said, Whoever receives one child such as this in my hand receives me and whoever receives me. God must have. He must have really been thrilled with the presence of that little child in his, in his presence. And that child must have been at the base of an angel. This is how you should be. Whoever receives one child such as this, and one who receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. So, when you pray, and I will encourage you. To really make a sincere examination of conscience. Oh, but I can't see that. Even though I know it's true, I can't say it. Well, if you don't, Jesus is going to ask you and wait for you. That you can be sincere and honest. And when you finally come to the conclusion that you can, and you keep making the practice of it all the time, when you are aware of it, don't let it overwhelm you. It's the way we are as human, human beings, huh? Okay, what did we learn sin? God, we learned it from the very beginning. When we are children, we don't know we, what sin is. We don't. But we learn from someone who should know better and who does know what sin is and teaches them. I'm not here to condemn the whole world. But I start out with myself, condemning myself or the many thoughts and actions that I commit each and every day of my life. You want the perfect priest? Don't look at me. You want the perfect saint? You know what saints were before they became saints? They were saints. And so by the grace of God, praise him when what's in your mind says, don't be too hard on yourself. Just tell me that you know that you're sorry. And then they ask me for the strength to teach you to overcome. Forgive me for the sin of talking too much. I believe in the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one of the Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, Son of God, born and born before the ages, God from God, life from life, to God from to God, begotten and now remain, 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this one with you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in my The mystery of faith. Giving thanks that you have found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Myron our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with heaven and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are all who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
I am a good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and my know me. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Amen. 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 God bless you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Mass is ended. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thank you. Thank you. Satan, Michael, the Archangel, the Prentice, and Babylon, be our refuge and the Holy Grace and Spirit of the Devil. May God renew thee, we humbly pray. God, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil